Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Spring System-Wide Virtual Commencement Ceremony of Washington State University. The processional will now begin. Entering the Coliseum and leading the processional is Faculty Senate Chair Dave Turnbull, bearing the University Mace, a traditional symbol of authority. His honor guard includes Curtis Cohen, the Associated Students of Washington State University President and Jennifer Johnson, President of the Graduate and Professional Student Association. System-wide, we will recognize students from the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences with 254 undergraduates, which includes 42 from the School of the Environment, a joint program between the College of Agricultural, Human, and Natural Resource Sciences and the College of Arts and Sciences with 18 masters and eight doctoral graduates. The College of Arts and Sciences with 633 undergraduates, 16 masters and seven doctoral graduates. The Carson College of Business with 373 undergraduates, 38 professional degree candidates and three doctoral graduates. The Edward R. Murrow College of Communication with 169 undergraduates, eight masters, and two doctoral graduates. The College of Education with 176 undergraduates, 33 masters, and six doctoral graduates. The Voiland College of Engineering and Architecture with 291 undergraduates, 25 masters, and two doctoral graduates. The Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine with nine undergraduates, 14 masters, and 11 professional degree candidates. In the first graduating class of medical doctors. The College of Nursing with 52 undergraduates, two masters, and 22 doctoral graduates. The College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences with 24 professional degree candidates and one doctoral graduate. And the College of Veterinary Medicine with 59 undergraduates, one master's and three doctoral graduates. All will be Cougar alums. Now entering the President's Platform Party made up of Washington State University College Deans, a Regent, the Provost and the President. Gina Vasquez, ASWSU President, Global Campus. Andre Dani Wright, Dean, College of Agricultural, Human and Natural Resource Sciences. Todd Butler, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. Chip Hunter, Dean, Carson, College of Business. Bruce Pinkleton, Dean, the Edward R. Murrow College of Communication. 
Michael Trevison, Dean, College of Education. Lisa Gloss, Dean, Graduate School. Mary Rizak, Dean, Boylan College of Engineering and Architecture. M. Grant Norton, Dean, Honors College. Mary Coithan, Dean, College of Nursing. Mark Lead, Dean, College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. William Davis, Associate Dean, College of Veterinary Medicine. Brett Blankenship, WSU Regent Chair. Elizabeth Shelton, Provost and Executive Vice President. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. The National Anthem will be performed by Julie Ann Wick, Associate Professor, School of Music. Please be seated. The Washington State University alma mater, Washington My Washington, will be performed by WSU choral students Kayla Ray, Bryce Weber, and seniors Christina Gomnitz and Jared Peterson. The virtual performance was created by Bryce Weber. Washington My Washington my songs of memory that we sing today. When the sad hours come to you and sorrows round you play, just sing the songs of Washington, the crimson and the gray. Just sing the songs of WSU family and friends, please welcome Dr. Kirk Schultz, President of Washington State University. Good morning, Coug Nation. Welcome and congratulations to our new graduates, the class of 2021. Can I get a big, hearty Go Cougs? I say these words from the bottom of my heart. For you have persevered in the face of one of the most challenging times in modern history to reach this milestone moment in your life. Graduates, as we gather today for this celebration, 
I'm inspired by your undertakings and ambitions. You have accomplished much in nearly every academic field imaginable. You have big dreams for the future. We enthusiastically welcome you to the ranks of WSU alumni, and we send you into the world that greatly needs your minds and your hearts. Current events remind us there is so much happening in the world that needs fixing. Disease, extreme poverty, religious strife, sexual discrimination, unimaginable violence. The list is long. But I'm here today to tell you that there are many reasons for hope. The cougar spirit that defines this great university and binds us together is one of the main reasons I feel hopeful about the future. That spirit, reflected by a never say die and a willingness to work hard to succeed no matter the obstacles, bodes well for our own life success and for the betterment of our society. It's a spirit that you, the class of 2021, have demonstrated day in and day out on your path to this moment. It's a spirit I've observed every day for the past five years I've served as WSU's president. It's a spirit of hopefulness reflected in the good work being done by our faculty, students, and staff, by our alumni, and by our friends. The examples of compassion, dedication, selflessness, patience, and kindness I witness every day inspire me and humble me. Without a doubt, the world needs your cougar spirit more than ever. And your willingness to confidently step up and tackle our shared challenges fills me with hope. Hope for today and hope for our future. In my role, I've met many of you and you're absolutely incredible and amazing. Noel and I have had many of you to our house for dinner and receptions. We've taught you in classes. We've cheered for you on stages and in athletic competitions. Interacting with you is one of the great joys of serving as a university president. Am I an optimist about our future? Yes, there's no doubt about it. But I see the world that way because I know how hard this community and all of you, our 2021 graduates, work to succeed every day. The potential is unlimited. As we celebrate today, let us look to each other for continued inspiration in the years ahead. May WSU and the Cougar family continue to be your fountain of hope as we face the future united in spirit. Congratulations, graduates, and let me get a go Cougs, no matter where you are. The WSU Board of Regents is the university's governing body, and it gives me great pleasure to ask the Regent Chair, Brett Blankenship, to the podium. Thank you, President Schultz. <clears throat> Hello and welcome. It is indeed a great day to be a Coug. What an honor to be with all of you today to celebrate your success at Washington State University. A little bit about me. Many of you, um, one, of, one of the best kept secrets about me is I, I was trained as a pianist. So when I was graduating like you, I was a music major. When you're a pianist, you always, wind up, you always wind up studying Beethoven before you get a degree. And one of the greatest Beethoven artists in history was a fellow named Arthur Schnabel. The question was posed to him one day, how do you play all those notes? And how do you remember all those notes? And he whimsically replied, he said, uh, almost Almost any pianist can play the notes, but it's the space between the notes. That's where the art resides. So the art is not always the obvious part that other people see, but it's the unseen things. So as you choose your path forward in your field of study, you will often be faced with two choices, the expedient thing and the thing that brings you meaning. My hope for you is to choose the path of meaning. Find meaning, and you will find the art that Mr. Schnabel referred to. And as you personally define what brings you meaning, other choices will come your way, being comfortable or growth. Choose growth. 
Every person on this platform with me today has made those choices. Many had other positions, and they were just fine where they were. They were successful on, before they came here, and they were brilliant at what they did. But a person who always seeks the best has a certain restlessness, and that is growth. So if you ever find yourself getting bored and your job becoming routine, you've stopped growing. Find a way to continue to grow. And sometimes it's as simple as comparing yourself to who you were yesterday rather than comparing yourself who someone else is today. Continue to learn. Continue to find meaning. Continue to seek growth. Do those things, and you won't need to find success. Success will find you. Life then becomes art. And when success finds you, indeed, that is where the art resides. So on behalf of all the regents, past and present, it's my honor to wish you the very best today. Congratulations. Thank you for choosing WSU. Go Coops. Please join me in recognizing our regents and the important role they play in guiding our university. Now I turn the program over to Elizabeth Chilton, Provost and Executive Vice President of Washington State University. Provost Chilton. Well, hello, graduates. It's an honor to join you for this historic celebration of your accomplishments at WSU and to welcome you as alumni of this great university. This is a particularly special spring commencement for me since this is my first as the chief academic officer for the WSU system. We plan on celebrating with you again when we can have in-person ceremonies and all are invited to return to attend in person. We look forward to the regalia, the tassels, the graduation march, and the celebrations with family and friends. I imagine that your final semesters at WSU will be remembered as an extremely challenging and stressful time. And I'm sure that you, will, you, that you never imagined that your final months at WSU would include many hours of Zoom sessions, wearing face masks, and attesting that you're not sick or even self-quarantining. We will remember the resilience and the dedication shown by Coogs time and time again. I have come to know and appreciate our tight-knit and supportive Coog community even in the face of challenges unlike anything any of us have experienced before. I know that you've received a world-class education here at WSU and your time here has prepared you for your future careers and for your lives. We all know that life is not a straight line and I am confident that you are well prepared to face all the many twists and turns ahead of you. As you graduate from WSU, please remain your Coog spirit. Even if you're not on campus or in classes every day, be proud to wear crimson and gray. Come back to campus, visit your professors, and cheer on your fellow Cougs. A major part of the university experience is to expand the network of people who are invested in your success. Take heart in knowing that as a WSU alumnus, you are a valued member of an incredible network of people. I hope you'll find that Coogs, helping Coogs doesn't just apply during your time as a student, but throughout your life. Finally, as one of the newest members of the WSU community, I am proud to say to all of you, go Coogs. To welcome the Vancouver class of 2021, I am pleased to introduce Jennifer Johnson, President, Graduate and Professional Student Association, Armando Antonino, President, Associated Students of Washington State University, Vancouver, and Narek Danielyan, representing the Washington State University Alumni Association. Jen? Good morning, WC graduates. As President of the Graduate and Professional Student Association here at Washington State, 
I want to say that on behalf of the GPSA, congratulations on reaching this amazing milestone. It is a remarkable accomplishment, especially for you all who have persevered in the face of one of the most challenging times in modern history. No one thought our final semesters at WSU would include sitting in countless Zoom sessions, wearing face masks everywhere, or self-quarantining. But in continuing to tackle these challenges, we have demonstrated how strong and adaptable we are. I am honored and proud to be, such a, be a part of such a resilient student body. It is a pleasure to speak to all the graduate and professional students receiving their degrees today. You are a part of a special group that has chosen to spend the past 20 plus years in education so that you may help solve the problems of the future. It may not feel like it, but you're all experts in your respective fields. I'm sure your first thought of that notion, like me, is one of terror, but this process was designed to challenge how you plan, how you think, how you work. You have met those challenges and you have endured. You have come out on the other side, able to tackle the most difficult problems this world has to offer. While this is likely the end of school for most of you, do not let this be the end of your education. Moving forward, you'll go on to guide cutting edge research, you'll advance life-saving technology, you will fight for social justice causes, and you'll positively contribute to the global community. With your newly developed skills and leadership, I implore you to use them for good. Help lift up those around you who have not been fortunate enough to have had the same opportunities. To the undergrads, thank you for your spirit, your enthusiasm, and your commitment to learn alongside us. To the graduate and professional students, your work and efforts have been impactful. You have paved the way for the next group to continue to make meaningful contributions. My hope for every one of you is that the challenges and triumphs you face during your graduate experience continue to shape and influence you wherever life takes you next. Commencement represents the completion of one chapter and the beginning of a new one just as promising as the last. Enjoy this moment. Once again, congratulations on your academic achievement. GPSA wishes you the best of luck moving forward. Go Cougs. Hello, my name is Armando Antonino, and I've had the incredible honor to serve as this year ASWCV Student Body President. I'm an integrated strategic communication major with a minor in digital technology and culture. But this moment is not about me. This moment is about celebrating you, our 2021 Vancouver grad on this special day. You have proven your incredible abilities over the course of your college career, and that's commendable. All your research, studying, reading, and engagement has paid off. You are unstoppable and will continue to succeed long after you receive that diploma. You are no longer getting ready, but you are ready for what the world has to offer you. You know, life is a journey, and that requires us to continuously grow and adapt. The way you all have adapted this year is just one example of how you've been able to do that. We are so proud to share this exciting moment with you. Remember, as you move forward, bring with you the knowledge, experience, lessons, and friendships from WSU Vancouver. I'm excited to witness how you shape and create our new reality. Class of 2021, the world has changed, and you will determine how we make and move forward and make those decisions in a meaningful and um, equitable way. I ask that you make a community your priority. In closing, I'd like to draw on the lessons that we have all learned during this unforgettable year as we've, done, as we've done, moved forward through the challenges of COVID-19 and so many other obstacles. In the real world, there will always be challenges, though hopefully not to the extent of a pandemic. These challenges are inevitable. They will test your patience, commitment, and integrity. However, the virtues of perseverance, resistance will help you overcome these challenges. You have used these virtues in your academic journey, and you will continue to use them again and again. I urge you to cling on to these virtues when you're being tested, just as you did during this exact year. Lastly, wear the badge of the Vancouver on your sleeve. Let the world know you are ready for whatever it has to offer. Congratulations and go Cougs. Fellow Cougs, hello. My name is Narek Danielian, and today I'm representing the WSU Alumni Association. I'm a proud Vancouver, just like you. I graduated from WSU Vancouver in 2012 with a bachelor's degree in human development. My time at WSU Vancouver not only prepared me to enter the workforce, it also sparked my interest in continuing my education. As a result, I came back and earned a master's degree in public affairs while also working to progress in my career. While in grad school, I was fortunate to serve as the first student regent from WSU Vancouver. That experience, along with countless others, will stick with me for the rest of my life. On behalf of WSU Vancouver and all Cougs throughout the world, I welcome you into our alumni ranks. Being part of the Cougar Nation means a great deal. It means shouting, go Cougs, anywhere in the world, and resting assured that if another Coug hears you, they'll shout it back. 
It means being part of a network that supports each other, that supports the community, that contributes to the betterment of future generations. Being part of the Cougar Nation is as much a responsibility as it is a privilege. I encourage you to stay in touch. Keep us informed about the changes and achievements in your life. Know that you are always welcome on our campuses, whether for a visit, a committee meeting, Cougs in the community, or to continue your learning process. Today, you join your classmates in becoming one of the more than 18,000 WSU Vancouver alumni and the nearly 275,000 Cougar alumni worldwide. I offer each of you my hearty congratulations on your accomplishments and my sincere best wish wishes for your future endeavors. Go Cougs! Thank you, Jennifer, Armando, and Narek. I doubt this is how many of us saw your graduation day playing out when you started at WSU Vancouver. It's not how I ever imagined I'd be delivering your commencement remarks. At the beginning of spring semester last year, I was in conversations with student groups about where to site a new cougar statue and finding a suitable gaming space on campus. By spring break, the conversation changed to how we could pivot to distance learning in a week's time, and whether our students could meet their basic needs. A place to stay, food to eat, or technology to continue their studies. This past year has had a dramatic impact on us all, but it has exacerbated the inequities that were already present in our country and on our campuses. The pandemic has had a disproportionate impact on our communities of color, and on our women, students, faculty, and staff. In the midst of the pandemic, the realities of systemic racism, conspiracies, and insurrection in our nation's capital, and close to home, fall wildfires, and a Valentine's Day snow and ice storm that left many without power or internet access for days also drew our attention. What can I say? It's been a year. Still, the drive and commitment I saw in you to move forward in the most difficult of times and your support for one another has been nothing short of awe-inspiring. Some of you attended courses online and studied in crowded spaces. You battled for the use of Wi-Fi. You helped your siblings or your own children succeed in an online learning environment. We all missed out on in-person events and the camaraderie of peers. Nonetheless, I have seen more people caring for other members of the community than at any other point in my career. I saw our student leadership reorganize to serve students in new ways. I saw creativity in how we teach our students. And we learned how to hold events and even celebrate virtually. Many things have changed, but one thing has remained consistent. We have graduated the most extraordinary students. Our graduates make our community stronger. They are leaders in work, in education, and in community service. As you graduate today, use your education to make our region stronger, healthier, wiser, and more just. You've done this over the last year, and I know you will continue to do so. I wish you great success and look forward to seeing the great work that you do. Thank you for choosing WSU Vancouver. Go Vancouver and go Cougs. Today we celebrate with a total of 2,263 students participating in the system-wide virtual commencement. There are 30 students from Everett, three from Olympia, 211 global, 1,554 from Pullman, 103 Spokane, 115 Tri-Cities, and 247 from Vancouver, representing 154 different degree fields. The candidates for advanced degrees will be presented by Lisa Gloss, Dean of the Graduate School. 
I add my sincere congratulations and best wishes to all of the graduates whose accomplishments we are celebrating today. In particular, I want to recognize the tremendous achievements of our graduate students that completed their degrees this spring semester. Pursuing an advanced degree is a life-changing path. This journey is often difficult and stressful, but I hope you also found it to be a journey of self-discovery and growth personally, intellectually, and professionally. Please remember to celebrate that your journey was also important to the growth of the knowledge base, research, and scholarship that will benefit the human race in so many different ways. That's what graduate student scholarship is about, participating in the research that writes the textbooks for the next generation. This commencement is a celebration of the completion of an important phase of your life path. From where you stand now, there are so many different fulfilling paths that you can follow. That is an exciting, amazing vista, but also probably unsettling and uncertain. Don't forget to pause and savor this moment in your accomplishments. You made it. You're ready for that next step in your path. You've shown remarkable resilience, perseverance, and dedication. Earning a master's or doctoral degree isn't an easy time at any time, but you've been successful during some of the most challenging situations that a graduate student might ever encounter as you weathered the many personal and professional impacts of life in the time of COVID-19. I sincerely miss the opportunity to shake your hand, hand your diploma, and share your enthusiasm and joy as you celebrate this milestone. Many of my happiest memories as the graduate dean and as a faculty member are from the celebrations as part of commencement ceremonies. I want to emphasize again, congratulations, and please know that we, the WSU faculty, staff, administration, and your fellow students, we are proud of you. President Schultz, from the Graduate School, I am pleased and privileged to present to you the degree candidates for the Professional Science Masters, the Masters Candidates, and the degree candidates for the Doctor of Education and the Doctor of Philosophy. The College of Arts and Sciences, presented by Dean Todd Butler. Good morning, and congratulations, CAS Cougs. No matter where you are or who might be with you today in body or spirit, you have much to be proud of. This year has been like any other, and that you have persevered to reach this point is a testament to both your individual strength of character and the bonds of community you have built together. But let's not also forget the years before this one, years that were also filled with joy and heartbreak, success and failure, love and laughter. Take a moment to remember the person you were when you first started at WSU and think upon all the experiences and learning that were there before you ready for the taking. It's pretty amazing. You are now about to begin a new chapter and our more than 700 CAS faculty and staff want to leave you with one important message. This year may have shaped you, but it does not and will not define you. And most certainly, it does not represent the limit of what you can accomplish. As graduates of WSU's most multidisciplinary college, you are uniquely prepared to make a difference in our world. When you go out to make your mark, you will not encounter a history problem or an anthropology problem or a chemistry problem. You will instead be challenged to connect your learning and your experiences across multiple dimensions and to consider not just the ways of this world, but your purposes within it. You leave WSU with the breadth and depth of learning to make a real difference and to do things that deeply and truly matter. The path forward may not always be straight or clear, but make no mistake, it is there for you, and you are indeed ready to take it. So as much as we'd like to have you back here with us, we know the world needs you more, and we can't wait to see what you do. President Schultz, I take pleasure in presenting to you the baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences. Upon recommendation of the faculty, and by the authority of the Board of Regents and the statutes of the State of Washington, I hereby confer upon each of you who fulfill its requirements the degrees for which you have been recommended with all of the privileges and obligations.
Vincent Carpenter, Master of Public Affairs, MPA. Cassandra Dahl, Master of Science in Biology. Natalie Powell, Master of Public Affairs, MPA. Rami Abdul Rahman, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Barish Agaliev, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Ben Alleman, Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Callie Anders, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Cum Laude. Emily Antos, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies, Cum Laude. Thank you so much, Mom, Dad, Alex, and of course, Dexter. I couldn't have done it without all of you guys' love, support, and patience over the years. Go Coops! Suck Money at Wall, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Miriam Addo. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Quinn Austin, Bachelor of Science in Biology. A big thank you to all my professors at WSUV. Congratulations, class of 2021. And as always, go Coots. Aaron Baker. Bachelor of Science in Earth and Environmental Sciences, Environmental and Ecosystem Sciences, Cum Laude. Masha Basarab, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Heather Bayard, Bachelor of Arts in History. Anna Benitez, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Megan Bodine, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Shelby Brock, Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting us today. We've worked really hard to get here. But most of all, I think we are just happy to be celebrating the end of all of this madness. Kayla Brummel, Bachelor of Science in Earth and Environmental Sciences, Environmental and Ecosystem Sciences. Pa Eddie Kamara, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Trevor Chilton. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Cum Laude. Brianna Coleman. Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Anna Marie Cueva. Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Pavan Dhaliwal, Bachelor of Science in Sciences, General Studies. Tyler Dietrich, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Kareen Dewar, Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. <laughs> Hilary Marie Diane Edwards, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Katya Ferinsky, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Summa cum laude. Emily Farnworth, 
Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Summa Cum Laude. Renee Farrell. Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Cum Laude. Valeria Flores. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Isaac Lucas Fonseca. Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, General Studies. Michael Forgione. Bachelor of Arts in History. Matthew Francisco. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Cum Laude. Ashley Gibbons. Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Dylan Gold. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Magna Cum Laude. Tanner Gold. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Magna Cum Laude. Anastasia Goncharenko. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Sophia Grande. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Jenna Gulliford. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Cum Laude. Jordan Hamilton. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Magna Cum Laude. Betsy Hanrahan. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Summa Cum Laude. Dana Hardy. Bachelor of Arts in English. Ashley Hong. Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. Cum Laude. Thomas Holtzlander, Bachelor of Arts in Public Affairs. Brianna Hollick, Bachelor of Arts in English. Summa Cum Laude. Haley Horlings, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Samantha Quinn Horton, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Robin Hunt, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Summa Cum Laude. Lauren If, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Magna Cum Laude. Cameron Jahan Shahi, Bachelor of Arts in English. Taylor Jason. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Alyssa Jessen. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Cum Laude. Miranda Jinx. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Magna Cum Laude. Joel Johnson. Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology BA Human Biology. Magna Cum Laude. Yafit Jones. Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Magna Cum Laude. Jessica Jones. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Hey guys, Jess here. Just want to say a quick thank you to my friends and family who inspired me and encouraged me to complete this journey. This one's for you. Rachel Judd, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. 
summa cum laude. Michael Carver, Bachelor of Science in Biology, summa cum laude. Christine Renee Kimsey, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture, cum laude. Ashlyn King, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Caitlin Combs, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, summa cum laude. Anastasia Kozlovska, Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Ashta Kumar, Bachelor of Science in Basic Medical Sciences. Tilo, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Cum laude. Jabana Leon, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Magna Cum laude. Colby Lockard, Bachelor of Science in Earth and Environmental Sciences, Environmental and Ecosystem Sciences. Cum laude. Gillary Lozano Lopez, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Mariah Marty, Bachelor of Science in Earth and Environmental Sciences, Earth Sciences. Andrew Martinez, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Amanda Mathena, Bachelor of Arts in English. Summa cum laude. Eric Messenger, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Tamara Miller, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Summa cum laude. Sarah Miller, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Kelly Moore, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Katie Moreno Maldonado, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Amanda Navarro, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Tracy Nelson, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Summa cum laude. Viet Nguyen, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Linda Nguyen. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Brooke Nugent. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Summa cum laude. Carmela O'Brien. Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Magna cum laude. John Oberg. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Dylan Oliver. Bachelor of Science in Earth and Environmental Sciences, Earth Sciences. Justine Lynn Owen. Bachelor of Arts in English. Courtney Owen. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Shauna Pham, Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, General Studies. Summa cum laude. Melody Fan, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Britta Plumhoff, Bachelor of Science in Earth and Environmental Sciences, Earth Sciences. Colby Ree. Bachelor of Science in Biology. Summa cum laude. 
Preston Reed, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture, Magna Cum Laude, Mackenzie Richardson, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies, Adriana Roberts, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies, Michelle Rosas Perez, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Deborah Roska, Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Jasmine Rowland, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Caitlin Rowland, Bachelor of Science in Sciences General Studies. I just want to say congratulations to all my fellow classmates of 2021. We did it, guys. Morgan Rood, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Alexis Sabatini, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Paul Insida, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Joseph Shocker, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Cum Laude. Maria Shaljo, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Cum Laude. Jillian Selix, Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology. Charisma Sexton. Bachelor of Science in Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Michael Sferly, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Hey, I just want to say shout out to my friends and family for supporting me throughout these four years here at WSU Vancouver. On to bigger things, go Kooks. Katie Sherman, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Jessica Sherman, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Cum Laude. Austin Silbernagel, Bachelor of Arts in Public Affairs. Magna Cum Laude. John Morgan Smith Line, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Summa Cum Laude. Callista Sofianos, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Cum Laude. Jessica Spin, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Brenda Steinman, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology, Summa Cum Laude. Kristen Stewart, Bachelor of Arts in English. Magna Cum Laude. Sarah Christiana Storm. Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology. Summa Cum Laude. Tatum Strauba. Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Summa Cum Laude. Rosalie Taffelinger, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Miranda Terry, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies, Cum Laude. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your year. Go Cougs! Bye guys! Anais Torres. Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Mitchell Torres. Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, General Studies. Cum Laude. 
A huge thanks to my parents for all the love and support that they've given me, uh, and a huge congratulations to the class of 2021. We made it. Madeline Townsend, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Caitlin Turk, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Nicole Turnbull, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Cum laude. Brianna Julie Valencia, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Timothy Varney, Bachelor of Arts in History. Magna Cum Laude. Ashley Vega Lazaro, Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Magna Cum Laude. Tessa Valeski, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Keegan Walden, Bachelor of Arts in Digital Technology and Culture. Summa Cum Laude. Christina watts -Urell, Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Marilyn Weaver, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, General Studies. Krista Williams, Bachelor of Science in Biology. Caroline Witherspoon, Bachelor of Arts in History. Marissa Witters, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Kelsey Wright, Bachelor of Science in Biology. The future is bright and I look forward to the next steps after completing my degree. Taylor Wright, Bachelor of Science in Neuroscience. Seraphine Zane, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Graduates of the class of 2021, you've earned your academic degree and are now officially part of the Cougar alumni family. Congratulations and go Cougs. It's only fitting we include this great song in our ceremony. One song that unites cougars around the world. Let's join Butch and the Cougar Marching Band in the Washington State University fight song. Go Cougs!
congratulations again, class of 2021. Now go out and conquer the world, but don't forget that WSU will always welcome you back home. We hope to see you soon. This concludes our ceremony, go Cougs. Honor Guard and Mace Bearer, please lead the recessional.